Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and with the LG G6 coming preloaded with the company's own skin, this Android Nougat running device has a few tricks up its sleeve. Here are 10 things worth trying with the brand new flagship of the year contender. The first and most important tip is app scaling. With it being an 18x9 screen, you need to tell all the apps to fill the entire display. To do that, go to Settings, Display and App Scaling, then choose all the apps and games you want to have fill the entire screen. As with previous LG phones, you can customise which virtual buttons appear on the bottom of the screen and reorganise them. To get a notification drop down button, just drag the downward arrow icon onto the bottom panel and hey presto! Now you can summon the notification shade without having to try and reach the top of the screen. Auto launching a music app has been a feature in LG phones for a while too. Head to settings then general and smart settings and then choose the when earphones plugged in or when Bluetooth device is connected option. Then select the music app you want to open. Now that app, be it Spotify, Play Music, Deezer or whatever else will open any time you connect your favourite headphones. Now to take a long screenshot the easiest way is to add the capture plus button to your home screen buttons and then when you're on a long page tap it and choose the extended view option. It'll then take a screenshot of the full page you're on. Marking up images can also be done using Capture Plus. Now once you've taken a screenshot, use the options at the top to draw or write over the image before saving or sharing it. Next is the Always On Display which shows you clock and notification icons on your lock screen permanently. You can switch it on by going to Settings, then Display and then Basic. Toggle the Always On switch and it's on. Now the next step is customising it. You press the three dots next to that toggle switch, then you can choose which style clock you want, when you want it to switch off, at night for example, or if you want it to be bright or not. Next we're turning to the keyboard. While you can type, use predictive suggestions and flow through keys like most Android keyboards, there's also a handwriting option. Press and hold the settings cog next to the spacebar, then choose the pencil icon. Now you can write words in the space and it'll be translated directly to text. Staying with the keyboard, you can use it split in two by going to the keyboard settings, going to height and layout and then selecting split keyboards. Now when you type, you can pull the keyboard apart and have one side on each side of the display. Now last on our list is changing behaviours based on whether you're home or not. Head back to the smart settings and choose at home settings. Choose your home location and then you can change Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and sound profiles based on whether you're at home or not. Of course this isn't everything you can do with LG's software, there's plenty more that you can find in our extensive list of tips and tricks. The link is below in the description box if you want to check that out. Now don't forget to like our video and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you again soon.